Hi everyone and welcome to iLearn Technologies presentation and today we'll be looking at OpenVPN and how we can use it to set up a dial-in VPN with supported Draytech routers, which includes all of the current models with built-in VPN tunnels. My name's Darren and I'm the Queensland sales rep at Draytech Australia and New Zealand. Note that you will need to install OpenVPN client version 2.4.8 for Windows 10 from openvpn.net forward slash community dash downloads, or you won't see the OpenVPN type as an option in the SmartVPN client. So I have a Viga 2865 router here and our online status tells us that WAN 1 is online. Step two, go to VPN and remote access, remote access control setup, and make sure enable OpenVPN service is selected. It's a good idea to disable any services you don't need here while you're at it. Then check our system date and time is correct down in the system maintenance menu. We need this because we'll be using a self-signed certificate. Now we create our remote dial-in user profile under VPN and remote access, remote dial-in user. Here's one I created earlier, so we'll click on that. So here we need to give it a username and password. If we want it to be always on, we'll need to set the idle timeout to zero. And we need to make sure OpenVPN tunnel is selected as an allowed dial-in type. You can deselect the other allowed dial-in types if you don't want them to be options. Then we pop into the OpenVPN submenu under the OpenVPN service setup tab. The UDP port is set to 1194 by default, but that can be changed if you have a need to. Then click on Generate to create these four certificates, which I've already done. Then to get our client config, we go to the Client Config tab. We can set up the VPN as default gateway if we want to. The value of UDP ping means if no packets have been sent for at least 10 seconds, the router will send a ping over the OpenVPN channel to check the client side is still there, which also prevents timeouts. UDP ping exit time of 60 seconds means that after 60 seconds pass with no response, OpenVPN will exit. Then we just give it a file name we can remember later for the SmartVPN client app. Then click on export. Downloads go into my downloads folder by default in this browser and there's a few other .ovpn files in there that I created earlier as well. Now we'll go to the SSL general setup menu and select the OpenVPN service certificate. Then click OK to exit. Okay, now let's jump onto another PC to set up the SmartVPN client. So I have a profile I created earlier here called OpenVPN2. Let's just alter that IP address so you can see what happens. So we just click on the import button and browse to wherever we have the OVPN file created earlier. Click open and it will populate the profile with the correct WAN IP address and port number. Then just type the username and password you created in the remote dial-in user profile in the router. Click OK and then connect. Actually, before I click connect, let's run a continuous ping to the VPN server, which is on 192.168.1.1. Click connect and once the tunnel is created, we'll start to get replies. And there it goes. OK, let's go back to the router and go to VPN connection management. Click on refresh. And there's our OpenVPN tunnel up and running, and green text means that the data is encrypted. For more information about Draytech products, please check out our website at www.draytech.com.au or send us an email to sales at draytech.com.au or give us a call on 02983888899. Please like and subscribe below, and if you'd like a notification anytime we put up a new video, please give the bell a click too. Thanks and bye for now.